Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I've got my cat cuss shirt on. It was supposed to be an extra large and it's more like a medium, but it seems it fits a little snug, but maybe I am losing weight. But anyway, I love it. It falls into the cute but creepy category because living cactus cats is kind of cute and weird. That's not why we're here. Uh, I uh, po didn't post a video. I recorded a video for another flavor of Liquid Death, which was, I'll play with you in a minute, uh, Convicted Melon. I'm not a big fan of the new artwork. And yes, I do consider myself goth, but the, the turn that the artwork is taking is I'm not really thrilled with the way it looks. Like I said, I prefer the brighter colored, kind of creepy yet cute aesthetic they were they were originally going for, which I originally started getting one because I was curious about the water and two, I was kind of liking the color scheme because since I've got sugar skull stuff and I've ended up with furniture that has colors, it kind of fits. I'm like trying to work with it and making the living room kind of cute and creepy sugar skull as opposed to the steam goth look that I had at my old place. And basically the new artwork, I'm not sure the three, the, 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 the eyes and the tentacle tongue, it's just not quite, it, it's, it's not my aesthetic. I do like creepy. I do like gothic things, but it's just that particular look just not, does not, appeal to me per se. It will, you know, it's probably somebody else's cup of tea, but not mine. So I will continue to get the waters. I will do reviews of them. I will just use the boxes probably for storage. And when I do get my house and do the bar thing, I will have all the different colors of the liquid death, the still, the sparkling and all the flavors and have them up like, make it look like a bar. It, like it's advertising the different drinks. And again, to mix with the convicted melon, I got this, which I was going to try anyway before I even knew that was a thing. So that's, that's probably a good couple shots right there. So this is, again, Old Smoky Gatlinburg, Tennessee, Mountain Made Salty Watermelon Whiskey. And it is... 30% alcohol by volume or 60 proof. So again, not sessionable, but drinkable. It's, it says, oh, wow. Artificial flavor and caramel color. So it's not even real watermelon flavor. It's fake watermelon flavor. It smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. It's drinkable. Again, basically it tastes like somebody took salt and a watermelon Jolly Rancher and um, let them sit in a bottle of whiskey. It's pleasantly sweet, but in an artificial way, it's not bad. If it were real watermelon, I would prefer it, but it's close enough because watermelon Jolly Rancher, while it is artificial, it tastes close enough to the real thing that you, where you can tell it's supposed to be watermelon. It, it pro approximates watermelon close enough to where you can tell what it's supposed to be trying to taste like. <clears throat> Out of the three I've tried so far, I would say I would put the Mango, mango habanero first, the salty caramel second, and this one third. Again, it's not bad, but it's it does have that artificial watermelon taste. It's like I said, it's good, but I was hoping it would taste like a real watermelon with salt on it. You know the taste I'm talking about. If you've ever had a very ripe watermelon, 
in the summer and put just a little bit of salt on it and munch down on it. That's what I was kind of hoping for. This, again, it's close, but it's artificial. Hit or a miss. It's a hit, but it's not high on my list. Would I buy it again? Maybe. But only if I'm going to mix it because, like I said, I, I was, I'm thinking about mixing it with the convicted melon. I had wanted to try this before. Like I said before, I knew that they made the convicted melon. But now that I know that they have it and I've tried it, I wanted I want to mix the two. In fact, let me pause and pull out a can. We'll see if we can make this taste better. And we're back again. If you see, if you don't watch the videos in order, this is the Liquid Death Convicted Melon. And we have the Old Smoky Gatlinburg, Tennessee Salty Watermelon. We're going to mix the two. This one has actual watermelon in it. So we're going to mix it like a, whis like a whiskey and soda. Yes, definitely a mix, mix is nice. And again, like the mango habanero with the mango chainsaw. I'm not sure if anyone's tried this before me, but I'm trying it. And again, nobody came up with any suggestions for the mango chainsaw mixed with the uh, mango habanero. I'm just kind of disappointed. Somebody called it a demon drink. I deleted that comment because I wasn't sure if they were being funny or if they were just basically trying to just bad mouth. I don't know what the deal was. But yeah, like I said, please keep it friendly. Constructive criticism is good. But comments like that, it's like, I, how am I supposed to take that? Were they joking? Is that what they, you know, couldn't tell if they were joking or if they were serious or what the deal was. So I took it down because we don't need that kind of negativity. Because if you can't tell where the comment is going, it needs to go. But again, both of them need names. Maybe you need just a little bit more whiskey. Just a smidge. And I had like a double shot in there and I drank half of it. Just another swish. Smidge, they can't see. And you did not see me because somebody's fat butt was in the way. I added another splash of the salty watermelon. It was good the way it was, but let's, let's see if this helps adding extra whiskey. There we go. That's good. Not quite as watered down. I just had a funny thought because this has a skull on it and I said it tastes like a Jolly Rancher. How about Watermelon Jolly Roger? There we go. We'll call this one a Watermelon Jolly Roger. And I'm not sure what we'll call the other one. Maybe a Spicy Chainsaw? Yeah, there we go. Spicy chainsaw. But then it doesn't have the, you know, the mango. Hmm. Ah, hot mango chainsaw? I don't know. That one's still a work in progress, but this one we'll call Watermelon Jolly, Ram Watermelon Jolly Roger. And again, is it drinkable? Yes. Is it sessionable? No. Because it's 30% AB, ABV, 60 proof. 
So it's whiskey, it's strong. Uh, the flavor, again, it's artificial watermelon, but it does does the trick. It, like I said, it tastes like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. So it, it's a good artificial watermelon flavor, but it's still not the real thing. The only thing that would be better if it was a real thing, which is why it's good mixed with this, because this actually has watermelon, lime, and agave in it. So this brings it to another level. It would make it a little bit more like a, uh, not a uh, margarita. In fact, a friend of mine suggested I get tequila to mix, to mix with these and make them taste like margaritas. But yeah, the adding the natural watermelon flavor with the lime and the salt. Um, is it lemon salt? I think it said lemon salt. Yeah. So I don't remember what I said. Hold on. I read the ingredients in the previous video, but now I want to read it again. And for those who are not going to see these in order, this is carbonated water, agave nectar, citric acid, natural watermelon, oh, paprika and lime. So there is no salt in this. So basically it's, paprika is basically red pepper, like not chili pepper, but red pepper. So yeah, agave nectar, watermelon and lime and paprika. So yeah, it would taste, I thought it had salt in it, but I was wrong. But this, this has salt apparently. It won't, it says, or maybe not. It says artificial flavor and caramel color. It doesn't say whether it's got actual salt in, or, in it or not. So I'm not, I don't know how you would pro, uh, art, make an artificial salted watermelon flavor. That's kind of interesting. But again, yeah, this is, this is good by itself, but you mix it with this, that definitely elevates the drink and gives it some actual, some real watermelon flavor with the lime. This probably has some salt in it, doesn't say, but it tastes like a salted watermelon Artificial, artificial salted watermelon, apparently. I don't know if that's because it doesn't say it has salt in it. I'm rambling. I'm repeating myself. I need to stop. Again, the review is for this. So get, definitely, if you can find this, try it. It's good straight, but it's better mixed. And if you can find this, I definitely suggest mixing it with this. Or maybe even some watermelon juice, if you can get watermelon juice. That would be another try. Something else to try Or maybe these two with a slice with a slice of watermelon in it with a little bit of salt. There you go. Again, wrap this up. Um, I already gave you all my current good news. Still, I will let you know what the mortgage lender tells me on the eligibility for the VA loan as soon as she calls me. So we're waiting on that. Fingers and claws crossed. It's good news because. Basically, it's been mostly bad news since I moved out here. But things are starting to look up. So, yeah, I'm going to let you guys go again. There's plenty of videos to watch, several of them. It's been about six years now since I've been doing this and creating content. Um, goth, not goths, weird snacks, unusual snacks, spooky stuff, Halloween decor. Again, I don't have any. Most of it I have no longer with me. But as soon as we get a house, which will hopefully be very soon, considering things are moving along at a good pace at this point now, things are finally coming around in my, in my favor. So hopefully soon. And, yeah, and as soon as we get a house, we're going to decorate it. 
And it's going to be kind of be kind of remind me of um, Goblin Queen a little bit. Where if you've watched, if you ever watch her videos, you go and she, she shows you the outside of her house. It's a ranch style house. But once you walk in, you're like, ill. She walks you in and gives you a virtual tour. Let's just say the inside does not match the outside, but it's wonderful. That's the kind of thing I'm going to be trying for. It, once we get a house, it's going to be probably most likely a ranch style, single floor. But the inside is going to be the way I want it. It's my aesthetic. And the outside is going to be, oh, it's a house. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully in the next year or so, things will keep coming together and we will have that to look forward to. But for right now, we're just rolling along and taking it, taking it as it comes. I'm going to, again, I'm going to let you guys go. Keep it dark. Keep it weird. And again, it's Halloween all year round if you want it to be. I will have some Halloween shopping coming soon, hopefully. And if you like my videos, again, thumbs up. Hit the bell once if you want to subscribe, twice if you want notifications. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye now. Love you.